Hey, welcome everybody. So this is gonna be my first vlog. Um, like I did say before, I want to include more of you know, like my everyday life being a mother of soon to be three kids. Currently, I have two um two kids, a toddler and a school age kid. So as a stay at home mom who's trying to live an economical life and save money at the same time, I actually invested in a portable washing machine and a portable dryer which has made laundry so much easier, saved money throughout the month, and just made everything a lot easier. So guys, I want to take you guys on that little adventure with me, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is the washing machine I have. Um, it is a combo, it's a washing machine and a spin dryer at the same time. So what I try to do is now, and instead of waiting every week or every two weeks to do laundry, I try to do it every two to three days to kind of keep the pile down because I don't know about you guys, but out here in New York City, I was spending anywhere from fifty to one hundred dollars on laundry. <laughs> so a week that adds up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill it up. I use my shower head because it does come with a hose, but the sink is kind of further out from where the washing machine is, so it's not long enough. So I just use the shower head, take it, I point it here, turn it on, and I let it fill up. This is actually a 28 pound combo, which is a spin dryer and laundry machine. It holds 18 pounds of washing clothes and 10 pounds of the spin dryer. And once that's done, I just take it and I put it in my portable dryer that you guys are going to see next. So right now, I'm just loading the machine, putting the laundry in. I try to wait two to three days, so that way it doesn't pile enough too crazy. Um, but it is a 18 pound washer, so sometimes like if you have like sweatsuits and stuff like that, you may have to do it in a double load. But guys, it cuts time, it makes it easier. If you're a mom with kids, you know, you have to cook for the kids, get ready for the kids to come home from school, get ready to do homework with them. Perfect way to just put it, let it do its thing, help the kids get ready with, do the things with the kids, and call it a day. So I usually wash for 15 minutes and then do another cycle, 15 minutes with the fabric softener, with this one right here, and I let it rinse out. Once that's done, it's gonna drain out. I drain it into the tub, and then I just start picking the clothes and I put it in the spin dryer. Uh, you do have like a leveler, so if it's not leveled correctly, it won't spin correctly, and it'll make like a thumping noise. So right now I'm just filling up the spin dryer, so then I could then put it in my little bucket and take it to the dryer. And right now it's been drying. You can open it, it'll stop. You can take it out. What this does is it rings out the clothes. So you can actually just take it to the dryer. So you know how when you get out of the laundry now, you have the clothes that's washed, wringed out, and ready for dry? It's just like that. Now that we finished the first load, I am taking it and I'm putting it in the dryer. This is the portable dryer I bought. I am going to link everything below the video so you guys can see it on Amazon. Everything's from Amazon. And I just put the clothes in, I put my dryer sheets, and I let it dry. This is a very convenient little dryer. It dries pretty well for it. You know, you do have to do small loads because it's smaller. But guys, it is a miracle worker because it makes life so much easier as a mom who's on, on a busy road trying to get things done pick up your kids from school cook and do everything trust me it is a time killer to have the washing machine and the dryer at home so right now i'm just gonna fill the dryer and i'm gonna start it i usually fill it about halfway like i said i do have sweatsuits here and they're a little thicker so you do want to give it some more time to actually dry, but it works pretty well. Right here you have the timer, you have cool down, heat dry, air dry, you can put it on economic normal, depending what you want to use, how you want to use it, 
and I just put the clothes in here. Right now, what I washed is everyday clothes, kids' uniform, PJs, stuff like that. Mind you, there are four people in my household right now, soon to be five. I do give birth within the next week, so it just makes everything a lot easier. So that's about right. That's what I usually put in. And now we're gonna put the dryer sheets and then we're gonna start. This is my little section where I like to keep everything. Since I am using the dryer inside a house, I did create an indoor vent for it. So that way it could vent out. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Guys, I'm telling you it's so much convenient. I got tired of spending that $50 to $100 a week in the laundry mat trying to do laundry. So now I put the dry sheets in. I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to start it. I usually put it on 200 so it could go through the heat dry and it could dry. All these, um, both these appliances that I'm using are very, you know, low noise. They don't make too much noise, especially the dryer. So if you don't want to bother your neighbors, if you don't want to make noise while doing all this, this is the perfect way to go. So, that being said, I hope you guys find an interest in this and I hope this was helpful. And if you guys have any other questions, want to know more, want to see another cycle, let me know.